Um, first question is, what do you what do you know about the 2020, 2021 year? So what do I know about the 2021 <laughs> year? Um, God. I know that we've got to prepare for a whole bunch of different scenarios and that um, we are going to be open in person at one point, we're going to be remote at one point, and we're going to have to be hybrid probably really at all points. Because even if we're in person, there will be some kids who are going to hold off of joining us and, and so on. Um, Hybrid could mean half on, half off. Right. How open September 7th? I don't know. Right. I do know if cases keep on increasing, we would have to open remotely. No. Uh, at some point, cases will stop increasing and they will decrease. We've done that before <laughs> and, 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 and we'll do it again. Sure. Um, sure. But so, yeah, I know all those things. What order they happen and what triggers it? You know, that's going to be both a quantitative and qualitative decision. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so looking at the upcoming year, what's the number one thing you're paying attention to or concerned about or want to keep a priority? Yeah. On one level, that's health and safety, um, without a doubt. Um, I mean, that's a given. But then when you start to go down a little bit, the real challenge is going to be how do we maintain relationships when we're not always in person? And I'm not just talking about with kids and teachers right. and between kids, but I'm also talking about as a faculty. Mm -hmm. That, like, we can do it, but we don't, I mean, it's a real challenge. It's harder to do, and, and we're going to have to pay more attention to it mm -hmm. um, this year. We, you know, we began the year all in person, so we just got through the last few months. This is a this is a different year, um, and we're going to have to be really systematic and figure out how, as teachers, we all get along and take care of each other and really understand where each other's are coming from, where our strengths, weaknesses, and fears are, and also that of our kids and our parents. Hmm. Okay. So I've heard you say, and not just to me, but I've heard you say this year is going to be hard to a couple different people. Um, yeah. Like, what, what do you mean by that, what, knowing what you know right now? Right. Well, I mean, the hardest thing in some sense is everything's new. Right. And when I say everything, I mean, we're teaching, we've got kids, we know most of them, we've got some new kids, you know, we still have courses to teach. But like we saw it with eighth grade promotion graduation, that was hundreds of hours of work because it was all new. So we're creating sort of, you know, so much stuff that we just do. And even though it takes a lot of work is new. If we don't do fall trips and there's a good chance we won't unless things get dramatically better all of a sudden, right. like fall trips take a lot of work. But then how do we is there anything we can do that tries to capture that in a safe way at some point in the year? Mm -hmm. We have to come up with that and design it. So um that's why it's going to be harder. We have to both be creative and, frankly, most people are saying with remote learning, businesses, whatever you want to call it, we're all working harder. Yeah. Okay. So what have you learned about taking care of yourself since taking care of each other is kind of a – seems like a theme? And that – I mean, I definitely – I I mean, that's an easy one. Um, what? <laughs> Over two weeks ago, I got, no, I got a wake-up call. I got sick with, you know, what I had no, I, I thought was just exhaustion and I thought was a rash and then turned out to be shingles. Clearly, stress brings it out. And, yeah, I mean, it was summer, so things, in a sense, were a little bit lighter, but I wasn't, I was working 60 hours a week and not exercising because I needed, the work demanded that at the moment. Hmm. And so then I was two weeks unable to do anything and it, I mean, it was a clear wake-up call that I just can't forget it's like yeah I mean emergencies happen sure. but right. most of the time things aren't emergencies and I've got to take care of myself or I'm no help to anybody else and obviously that goes the same for all of us right. sure so what what if anything would you say to staff as we you know think about the summer and taking care of ourselves or putting things in place so that when the year starts we're not maxed out too right. or i mean what, what's kind of your you know right. crystal ball <laughs> or yeah. wisdom or well, whatever <laughs> yeah. 
Right. Well, one is school's not starting for seven weeks. Mm -hmm. And I know some of us feel like it's right around the corner and so on. <laughs> seven weeks is a really long time. And so let's not put everything off for six weeks and then just try and cram <laughs> it in. But let's also not go, oh, my God, like we have to do all this stuff. Actually, you know, start chipping away at some of it now so it's not unknown. Like know about facts so you know how much time you have to put in it. Mm -hmm. Prepare for it, but make sure you get time off. And don't live and breathe school every moment. Like, <laughs> and even as faculty, like those of us who are getting together with friends, like let's not talk about school. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Like I've got to go back. I started the summer reading books. I haven't read any books. You know, I, I got to go back to that stuff and just find a balance in the summer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.